adorable little no sew fish pattern. It is a fun and easy project suitable for beginners. You can have a lot of fun with creating different colored fish and you can practice your color changing techniques as well. You can also create this fish using solid colors only and it will still look great. You can make it with or without its flippers and you can also use different yarn weights to create different sized fish. So here this is a medium weight yarn fish and for this one I use super bulky weight 6 yarn. So as you can see, there's quite a bit of a size difference. If you make it with um, thinner yarns, it makes a suitable keychain size. So you can go ahead and attach a key ring and it'll make a perfect little backpack buddy. All right, let's go ahead and go over the materials needed for this fish. Let's go ahead and go over the materials for this project. You can use any type of yarn you want, but I'm using um, the medium weight four yarn. This is Hobby Friends Cotton 8 slash 8, and you can pick whatever color you would like your fish to be in. With the medium weight yarn, I am working with a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. You'll also need some six millimeter plastic safety eyes a bit of stuffing for your fish, scissors, and that's it. To begin, you are going to start with a slip knot, like so, and you are going to make two chains, one and two. After you make two chains, you're going to insert six single crochets in that first chain you made, or the second chain from your hook. And so here I'm putting in one single crochet, two single crochets, three, four, five, and six. Now if you want to start off with a magic ring, you are welcome to do that. I prefer starting off with this chain method, especially if you're using plush yarn because it'll be harder to close up the magic ring with plush yarn. But since I'm using this um, cotton yarn, it should be quite easy to do the magic ring. Anyhow, let's go ahead and start on round two. For round two, what you're going to do is insert your hook into that first single crochet you made in the last round, and you're going to insert two single crochets there. That's called an increase. So here's one single crochet, and here's two single crochets in the same stitch. Oops. There we go. And you're going to increase all the way around, inserting two single crochets in each stitch around. That's going to be six increases total for 12 stitches in this round. So let's do the second increase the third increase, the fourth increase, the fifth increase, and the sixth increase. After you do that, you are ready to move on to round number three. For round three, you're going to do um, a single crochet and increase and repeat that all the way around. So that repetition is going to happen six times. Single crochet and then increase. That's the first repetition and then single crochet and increase. That's the second repetition, single crochet, and increase. Here's the third repetition. And keep going until you go all the way around and have 16, excuse me, 18 stitches total. Okay. 
After you've gone all the way around with 16, or excuse me, with 18 stitches, you're going to um, single crochet all the way around one more time. So let's go ahead and um, I'm just using my yarn tail to kind of um, keep my place here so I know where I started my round. You can use a, an actual stitch marker if you want. If you're cheap and lazy like me, just use a yarn tail or a piece of scrap yarn would do the trick too. So here, single crocheting all the way around for 18 stitches total. All right. After you've done that, you can go ahead and um, make sure your piece is flipped inside out, by the way, um, so that the right side faces out and the wrong side faces in. And now is um, the time to go ahead and switch yarn colors if you want to change yarn colors for the body of the fish. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a different color. To switch yarn colors, um, don't um, don't do anything about the last stitch you made. You're just going to kind of leave that um, loop there and you're going to insert your hook into the that last stitch and you're going to pull in the new color. So here I'm going to grab some purple yarn and let's go ahead and just pull it through like so. Then you're going to single crochet like normal in the next stitch. And I like to hold that yarn end um, in between my stitches to kind of hide it there and that keeps it from going becoming undone easily as well. It's a good way to um, keep from having to sew in or weave in the ends. And as you keep crocheting, um, your you can let go of that yarn tail after a few stitches. Um, but as you keep crocheting, you'll have that beautiful color change. And you can go ahead and pull that blue yarn tail as well. And you see that it just um, results in a very clean change. So I'm going to snip off my blue yarn because I no longer need that. And let's go ahead and single crochet all the way around in purple. And what you're going to do is for the next few rounds all the way till round seven, you're only going to single crochet around. You're not going to do any increases, any decreases, just work around single crochets only. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch colors between purple and pink uh, for the next few rounds to give my fish a colorful look. So we're going to go ahead and meet back at the end of round seven. Um, and we'll see where we're at there. When you finish round seven of the pattern, you can go ahead and insert plastic safety eyes into your fish. I put them between rounds two and round three of the pattern. And you can go ahead and put them on both sides of the head. Like so. Um, the eyes I used are six millimeter eyes, but you're welcome to use any size that you want. Now let's go ahead and continue with the pattern. What we're going to do is a decrease round. You're going to single crochet and decrease all the way around. And I'm going to now use the pink yarn. As you can see, I've been kind of switching colors here. So using the pink yarn for this next round, single crochet and then decrease, which is to single crochet two stitches together, like so. And then repeat that around for a total of six times. Single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease. Single crochet, decrease, and 
and single crochet decrease. For this last round, I'm going to go ahead and switch back into the purple yarn and we're just going to decrease all the way around. So that means to single crochet two together here. Oh, and by the way, you'll want to stuff your fish before the opening gets too small. So now is a pretty good time to do that. And I'm actually going to fasten off the pink yarn because I'm no longer going to use it. Let me go ahead and stuff the fish's body. And we're going to finish this last round. Um, I started decreasing around. Let me go ahead and get back on track here. What you'll want to do at this point is go ahead and um, make sure you're starting at the bottom of the fish's body for um, beginning the tail. So I am already at the bottom of my fish's body and you can tell by seeing where you place the eyes. So this is a little different for everyone. If you placed your eyes um, in different spots compared to mine, you may have to start at a different spot. But I see that this is right between those two eyes, close enough. If you do need to adjust your starting point, what you'll do is slip stitch in the next stitch or stitches, like so, until you reach the very bottom of your fish. So wherever that might be, this is definitely not the bottom of my fish because that's where the eyeball is, unless I have a fish who's like, kind of like a flounder, I guess, but nope. I'm just gonna pull out those two slip stitches. All right, anyways. Start at the bottom of your fish's body. Slip stitch if you need to get there. And what you're gonna do is um, switch to the tail color for the fish. So here I'm going to insert my hook into these loops. All right, and now I'm going to start with my tail color, which is going to be the same color as my fish's head. Let's go ahead and pull that in. And I'm going to pull that purple down. Okay, there we go. Make a chain to start. And then you're basically going to work through both layers of the um, body here. So I'm going from one stitch to the next stitch across. We're going to kind of fold that, hold that body flat because we're going to stitch that opening closed. So now is a good time for me to also snip away this purple yarn because I'm not using it anymore. This makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing. So we're going to close up these six stitches with three stitches across. Now that's one single crochet. And then before I do my second one, I'm just going to kind of squeeze those yarn tails in. Yarn tails squeezed in. Now I can go ahead and continue on. So I've made one single crochet um, across both of those stitches. Now I'm going into the next stitch and the next one across single crochet through both those layers and last set of stitches single crochet now as you do that let me adjust my fish a little bit you should have three stitches going across 
your fish's body and the opening is now closed. All right, and now what we're going to do is crochet the uh, fish's tail. We're going to chain three, like so. Then you're gonna turn your piece and then we're going to work across those three stitches. We're going to insert um, a double crochet and a half double in the first single crochet. Then a single crochet in the next single crochet. Then a half double and a double in the next. Then you're going to chain three and slip stitch into that same stitch. And as you can see, you've got a little tail now. You're going to fasten off the yarn end here. And you're going to weave in the ends of this tail. And there you have it. Your little fish can be complete just the way um, it is at this point with a little body and a tail. If you'd like to make the flippers, we can go ahead and do that as well. Let me show you how. You're going to grab yarn that um, you're going to use for the flippers first. And I'm using blue yarn to match the head and the tail. And what you'll do is you're going to insert a hook between, excuse me, insert your hook between a stitch in round six. And so if I'm counting from the um, beginning, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's this pink round right here for me. And you're going to insert your hook into where you want the flipper to be. Um, so you might want to check where the top of your fish is. This is the fish's bottom for me, because you'll see that's where my color changes kind of happen. So I'd like my flipper to be right around here for this side. And again, insert your hook under that stitch in round six. You're going to pull yarn through like so. Then let me make that yarn tail a little shorter up here. All right. Then you're going to make a chain. Yarn over. Insert your hook into that same stitch. Yarn over. Pull through a loop. Yarn over. And you're going to pull through all three of those loops. One, two, and three. Then you're going to make a chain. And you're going to slip stitch into that same stitch. Then you're going to fasten off that yarn end. Let's pull the beginning and ends. And you're just going to weave in the ends here. I'm pulling it through that same stitch so you can hide it well. And what I'm going to do is actually cut the ends here. And let it hide inside. All right, so there's one flipper. And now I'm going to crochet the next flipper on the other side of the body. And I'm going into um, between a stitch in round six as well. Hold on, let me see where I want it to go. I'd like 
to go into this one here. So I'm going to insert my hook and let's go ahead and repeat those same instructions. So you're going to pull yarn through, chain, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull yarn through, yarn over, go through all three loops, chain, and then slip stitch. And when you finish, you're going to fasten off and weave in those ends. And that is that for your little fish. I hope you enjoyed this project. It is so quick and easy, as you can see, and it's very fun to create um, little fish in a variety of different color combinations. If you'd like to make a longer fish, all you have to do is add more rounds to the body. I hope you enjoyed this project, and stay tuned and subscribe for more cute tutorials. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.